Hello. My hair is really sweaty and crazy. Um, it's Friday, May 25th, and I'm currently in the process of my last preparations before a nine-day road trip that I'm taking with my friend Jessica, who I've known since, like, seventh grade, and, um, we're gonna go see good friends in strange places that I've never been before. And if you want to see what we're doing, that information's out there somewhere. Um, I'm more, what I want to talk about really quickly is just kind of <clears throat> what kind of personal symbolism like this trip has for me because I think it's significant. It, in so much as anything in life is significant, I mean, it's all just kind of like what you want to BS about, right? And that's kind of the whole point. So recently I've had this epiphany that I've just been constricting myself to these sad ideas about myself, and like the sad story that I've made up about myself. And, um, I don't know, this was just kind of revealed to me by a very stressful year and a lot of rapidly changing circumstances in my life, a lot of signs that, like, I am mortal and that time continues and that, like, I will not be relevant or alive forever. So, um... Anyway, just as, like, this combination of factors and just, like, really intense emotional highs and emotional lows and, like, feeling like a crazy person and then being like, well, whatever. <laughs> and just having to regulate, being able to successfully regulate, uh, you know, my identity, I guess, in the face of all of this chaos, I just feel like I've entered a new stage in my life. I don't know what that stage is even about, except that it isn't full of sadness. I'm not a bad guy. I'm not a villain in my own tale. The things I want are fine. You know, like, my impulses are not all evil or, like, weak or sad or bad. Um, that doesn't mean that, like, oh, man, my sweaty upper lip is really, mmm. Don't you want to make out? Um... My monitor went off and went out, but now I like the mood lighting. We'll stick with that. Um, I don't even know what I was talking about. I started thinking about my sweaty lips and the change in lighting, and I completely lost my train of thought because I am an ADD monster, um, but an adorable monster like Grover, um, who's my favorite. Anyway, this trip comes after like several weeks of this strange change of mindset for me where I just like feel blown away about how differently I view the world and how um much more easily I'm able to handle like stresses um and I have no idea what's going to happen on this trip I'm kind of a control freak if things like I I want everyone else to be happy all the time I want to regulate everyone else's emotions. Like, I want to do everything right. I want everyone to like me all the time. I want everything to be perfect all the time. I never want to be rude or anything other than accommodating. Like, I want to say yes all of the time. And, um, you know, it's not, it's not bad to want to be accommodating. That is fantastic. But it's when you're taking on too much personal responsibility for things that are outside of your control that you start to feel like, crazy. And when you plan a trip like this, you, you can't do it alone. You have to collaborate with other people, or at least I, you know, I had to collaborate with other people. You have to focus on, you have to really decide like what is important, what is the priority, and what can be whatever. Because leaving your house for nine days and driving around for like a day and a half total, you know, um, eating differently, sleeping differently, seeing all sorts of different people, probably going to be delightful, but that's, those are people that, whose expectations you have to meet and who, you know, you want to please. I mean, all of that could be just a nightmare and it's not going to be a nightmare. It's going to be fabulous. And part of it being fabulous is me just accepting that I don't know what's going to happen and that that's the fun and that it's fun to not know what's going to happen. And that my best is good enough. I'm a super sweet gal. I'm very accommodating. I'm very kind. I'm very helpful. And 
my inclinations and my instincts are not always flawed. So, um, I just really want to be open to a new experience that's unlike anything that I've ever experienced before. Um, and maybe come back with a new idea about my personal narrative because I've had this, obviously this destructive one going forever and detaching from it and detaching from a lot of the stuff that I was caring about is very important, but like you can't go through life just like completely without anything to like structure your identity of it. Or you're the fool. I mean, you're just permanently like, ooh, totally naive. And, um, I mean, ignorance is bliss. But if you want to be an effective player in life, you, you, you do need to, like, pick a context. And so I want to pick an, an honest context. I don't want to deceive myself um, about, like, my capabilities, my desires, my drives, my plans. Um, and just a really positive narrative that, you know, I can feel confident about in myself and it is something at my center that I carry with me in all of my endeavors and all of my relationships and it's healthy for me and it's fun for other people to be around the person that that story's about. And uh, I think it's going to be spiritually healing. That's what I'm trying to do. Be open to like renewal and healing and um, embracing life because life is happening right now and I want to live it. So I hope you all have a great week and I think I will.